Hey everybody. Let's say you have a newer computer running on Windows 7, but you have an old piece of hardware you would like to use, such as this Visioneer scanner. You're going to need a computer with Windows 7 Professional or better, and you're going to need Windows XP mode. The reason for having Windows XP mode is to run your old hardware device through XP mode on your Windows 7 64-bit computer. On 32-bit systems, you might be able to actually run <clears throat> older drivers for older pieces of hardware. Anyways, let's talk a little more about this piece of hardware here. This is a Visioneer One Touch 8100 scanner. This scanner is at least 11 to 12 years old. I'm guessing it was manufactured in well, it was newer than 2000 because it had support for Windows XP, so we're going to guess the year 2001 this thing was made. So this scanner is 10 years old. And of course, they don't have any drivers for Vista or 7, let alone any 64-bit operating system. But I mean, it's a perfectly good working piece of hardware. Works just fine. It's basic. I mean, it does the job. I'm going to show you how to use this with your new computer running Windows 7 Professional, 64-bit. First thing you want to do is plug up your hardware device. You'll probably get an error message in Windows 7 saying it can't find a driver, but don't worry. Let me go ahead and just show you right quick. In Device Manager. That Windows doesn't recognize this scanner. Notice here unknown device that's the scanner has no idea what it is all I can do is tell you that that's a USB device so go ahead and open up Windows XP mode which you can download for free from Microsoft you'll need the Windows XP mode file and you'll need Windows Virtual PC those are both free for Microsoft for Windows 7 Professional, Enterprise, and Ultimate. Go ahead and start up Windows Virtual PC and launch XP mode. Windows XP mode is starting. In which Windows XP mode is more or less a whole different computer by itself, you could say. Windows XP mode gives you some updates. It gives you Service Pack 3, but it doesn't update your Internet Explorer or your Windows Media Player. You can apply those updates yourself. And then you get this more or less. I've actually got some other software installed on here. But what you will do is go up here to USB and click attach on whatever you want to attach and see here it says one touch 8100 EPP dash USB and just attach the de device and of course before it's installed Windows XP will not be able to find a driver what you'll do is go to in this case the Visioner website and download the driver for Windows XP and then you install the driver for Windows XP Let's go ahead and do a preview scan with this old scanner. We're going to scan the back of this envelope. Let's place it down in the scanner. Let's go ahead and scan it. Which of course is software. It comes with this scanner. It's called Paperport, which I kind of really... Well, actually, I, I think it's really annoying. So here's how I will scan this envelope in the scanner. I'll just use the scanner and camera wizard in Windows XP. We'll just click Next. 
and click preview. kind of hard to hear in here but the scanner is doing its job you can see it's previewing this envelope let's say when we want to save the picture I'm just going to click next or what you can do is browse to save this on your Windows 7 computer more or less you can just go into my computer and select C on such and such computer you can go over to where you want to save it, but we're just going to save it in a default selection. So now it's going to scan the picture, which is this envelope. We're going to finish this wizard. Now keep in mind, this might be a little annoying for other devices besides scanners, but I mean, for all devices like scanners, I mean, what's the whole big idea of having to spend a whole bunch of money on a new scanner when you got this perfectly working one that you can use by doing this? This comes to show how much better Windows 7 is than Windows Vista. This scanner got put up in the attic for two years because I was running Windows Vista. And now I got Windows 7 professional with XP mode I can actually use this scanner again. Anyways there's the scanned envelope. But like I say if you want to install any sort of old hardware device onto your newer Windows 7 64-bit computer this is probably the easiest way to do it. Any questions or comments? Let me know.